What's up, y'all? I say it. What's up, y'all? Look at me when I'm talking to you, bro. Nah, I'm just messing with y'all, man. This your boy, Knockout Boxing 86 TV, and we in here. So check this out, bro. Before I get, excuse me, before I get going, smash my like button, subscribe to the channel, share the video, turn on your notifications, and uh, please go email me if you got a prediction you want me to do or you got a breakdown you want me to do. Um, or if you want to join the TKO Debate Series, email me, man. Knockoutboxing86 at yahoo.com. Don't forget I'm live Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday nights at 7.30 p.m. Central Time. Um, and also Sunday mornings with KQKC Boxing Network. Sunday mornings at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. But let's go ahead and get to it. Let's go ahead and get it popping. Let's get into it. Oh, join the channel for exclusive content. I almost forgot. But join the channel to help the channel grow so we can spend more time giving you more content. But let's get to it, bro. Steven Espinosa blames piracy for big fights such as Earl Spence and Terrence Crawford not happening. Do you agree or do you disagree? That's what we're going to talk about today. This is what Steven Espinosa had to say about piracy, bro. Scroll on up, bro. Where'd it go? All right, here it go. All right, he said, look, man. It was asking him about the... um." The Tank Davis and Ryan Garcia fight. He says, you say 2 million and it hits 1.4, people are going to say, oh, that's disappointing. No, it's not. You shouldn't set that bar if you list realistic figures. I said this a week ago, and I think there was something, some misunderstanding when I said 800 to a million. We haven't seen 800,000 in a few years. Wilder Fury was in that range. Canelo Plant was in that range. I think you have to go back to Canelo Golovkin to exceed a million. The thing with piracy, I understand the pay-per-views have gotten expensive, and right now, economically, it's difficult. But the reason some of these fights aren't getting made is literally because of the piracy. So if your favorite fighter is taking a fight that you support, start buying the pay-per-view. Uh, start buying the pay-per-view. Oh, and he also said that's part of the issue with Spence and Crawford. The uncertainty of how much revenue is in the pot because of piracy. So the re reality is people should continue to vote with their pocketbooks. I'm not saying this for my benefit because, as you guys know, the network gets a tiny chunk. 80 to 90 percent goes to the fighters. I got to say, bro, a lot of what Steven Espinosa says, it be logical sometimes. It makes sense to me sometimes. But this, these comments right here. They don't make no sense to me, bro. They don't make no sense to me. Number one, you admitted that y'all made pay-per-views exceedingly more expensive. Exceedingly more expensive. There was a time pay-per-views was like $49.99, $59.99. Now, it's going to run you a hundred. Floyd Mayweather era, now it's going to run you a hundred. Easy. And post-Floyd Mayweather, same thing. And then when it don't run you a hundred... They want you to pay $69.99 for Thurman versus Barrios. Just real shit. It ain't, it ain't piracy that's keeping the fights from happening. It's sanctioning bodies. It's promoters wanting to only make in-house fights. All of them. PBC included. That's what keeps big fights from happening because people, because networks, promoters, are very, and, and sanctioning bodies are two things. A lot of them are corrupt. Some of them, I'm not going to put that label on them. But for sure, they all greedy. They all greedy. They all are very um, risk adverse. They don't want to make a big fight and bet on their ability to market the fight. How about you do your job? How about you do your job, right, to make the fight bigger? Like, you make the fight and then you do your job. You call USA Today. You call ESPN. You call um fox sports you get these fighters to get interviews you get these people to come and do press conferences you get these these outlets to write articles on the fights you got coming up you tell you you get the sanctioning body if you're the sanctioning body you order the big fights and you make it to where fighters have to negotiate or drop belts they have to negotiate or look like a duck those are much bigger problems than piracy. It's your product, bro. That's why people don't buy fights. Like, don't look at the people. 
Don't look at the people that don't buy buy um, fights. Are you putting on a product worthy of them buying a fight? If you disown and you raising your prices, is no disrespect to him. No disrespect to Diego Pacheco. I think that he is a hell of a prospect. I like him a lot. But is Diego Pacheco, that what I'm getting for my money in March from the zone? I got to pay for this subscription and you got Diego Pacheco as a main event for me. And even before that, no disrespect to this fighter either, but you bringing me Callum Smith when he was the main event before he had to pull out and that fight had to get 86th canned. What we talking about? If you, if you, Steven Espinosa specifically, PBC specifically, right? You putting on pay-per-views. You saying that it's the piracy. How about we look at your product? You really want me to pay for the Weiss King Kong Ortiz and Charles Martin or Andy Ruiz and Luis Ortiz? Like we had to pay for that shit. Deontay Wilder and Robert Hellenius had to pay for that shit. Keep Thurman, Mario Barrios, we had to pay for that. Come on, man. Is it the piracy or is it the product that you're putting on? Because it seems like, and this wasn't even the highest quality of fight, but it seems like if we're going off of Tank Davis, seems like when you put out a product that somebody like a mouthpiece like Roland Romero can sell, and you actually do a marketing campaign around it and you do a big press conferences and shit. Seem like that did very well for Tank Davis. Because you made a product, even though the in the ring product probably wasn't what people thought it would be, but you made a product that was good enough to sell. Stephen, Mr. Espinosa. So is it the product or is it the piracy? When you look at Earl Spence Jr. and Mikey Garcia, Earl Spence Jr. and Sean Porter, Earl Spence Jr. and Danny Garcia, Earl Spence Jr. and your Dennis Ugas. Y'all always seem to make millions in pay-per-view, and you always seem to make millions at the gate. Why is that? Could it perhaps be because when Earl Spence Jr. fights, he fights the top of the division? Other champions, top names, fights and, and fighters that people know. Could it be because when you put him in the ring, it's a better product because of who you have him fighting versus the products they flop? If you put on, if you give a better product, more people will buy it. Because, see, when you're putting on a great pot product, people don't want to pirate it because streams will go down and shit will buffer. You got to hop from one stream to the next and shit. And when you get a fight announced, I don't know, Tank versus Ryan or Earl Spence versus Terrence Crawford, people don't want to pirate that. They don't want to take that risk. So they just go ahead and buy it. You see the you see the firestorm that you've caused by providing a product like Gervonta Davis versus Ryan Garcia. People can't stop talking about that shit. Hell, I can't stop talking about that shit. It's the hottest topic in boxing right now. It's our look at the live gate. What's they they live gate like what they saying? Top 10 all time right now already? Did they say that they done already sold like 15 million to 20 million dollars in live gate money? So y'all done already made y'all money. You ain't even sold a single pay-per-view yet, Steven. I don't know who they think they fooling around here. You ain't even sold a single pay-per-view yet and you already done made money. Fight ain't even on yet. I know, I know Tank Davis and Ryan Garcia and the people, whoever you putting on their undercard, I know if you add all their purses up, I know they ain't 15 to 20 million. Y'all done already got a profit off the live gate alone and you ain't sold one pay-per-view yet. It ain't the piracy, bro. It's because in Tank Davis and Ryan Garcia, you made a fight that people want to see. All these pay-per-view numbers from all these networks, all these pay-per-view numbers from all these apps or whatever, they would all go up if they put on the fights that we want to see. And it's no different for Earl Spence and Terrence Bud Crawford. What you think will happen, Stephen Espinosa, if y'all make Earl versus Bud and you spend the money 
to put them on the stage in New York. And you get the New York Times there. All them New York publications like you had out there with Tank and Ryan. You get them all there. You book interviews for them. Then the next day you fly them out to L.A. And you do a press conference there and you get the L.A. Times. And all and, and all the L.A. publications. You, you, let, you let Earl and you let... Um, Crawford pull up to a L.A. Lakers game. Let them sit courtside. Try and help you out. <laughs> Try and help you out. What you think? What, what, what type of fire? Look at how hot the topic being on YouTube already. How much hotter? How much, how much more fire? How much more, more views? And how many more people you think going to watch their fight too, bro? So it's not piracy. It's the product. The only thing that I think Stephen Espinosa got right with those quotes is that the word he used start with a P. Piracy and product both start with a P. But the reality is, bro, and the cold hearted, cold hard truth is, people are buying less pay per views today because they're not getting the quality that they got yesterday. When we were buying Floyd Mayweather pay per views back in the day, Floyd was fighting the fights that we wanted to see him fight Zab Judah, Shane Mosley. Manny Pacquiao, Oscar De La Hoya. When we were buying Manny Pacquiao pay-per-views in the day, back in the day, Manny Pacquiao was fighting the fights that we wanted to see him fight. Even Canelo, before this recent downturn, when he was at his apex, selling one million pay-per-views, it's because he was fighting who many believe to be one of the best in Triple G. The product was better. When Canelo fought against Caleb Plant, it sold so well because the product was better. And what did you do? You had a fire-ass press conference where they tried to steal off on each other. Y'all don't see the formula yet, Steven Espinosa, of what you should be doing to get these things to sell? That's all I got on it, man. I, I call heartily 100% unadulterated, just 100% vehemently disagree with Steven Espinosa on this one. It ain't piracy, bro. It's corrupt ass sanctioning bodies, greedy ass promoters, greedy ass networks, and above all else, above all else, it's your product that you're putting out. Don't blame people for not buying your shit. Put out a better product so people want to buy your shit. That's simple. You can't put on a subpar product and complain that people are pirating it. Now, if you do some good products and shit and you put out good shit, and then the shit don't go up and you don't make money, then I right, holler at me, bro. Then, then I'll start I'll start preaching that shit. But you can't get nobody to back you. Talking about, oh, piracy. Oh, piracy. You know what I mean? Like, that's why people don't sell. That's why we can't make big fights. All right, well, what fights are you making? We making Keith Thurman versus Mario Barrio. Well, did Hector and Tank sell? Yeah, Hector and Tank sold. They broke a live gate record. They broke a live gate record. Yeah, they sold. They, they did good. Oh, so. Maybe you should put on a better product. How how Tank and Ryan doing? Oh, they just broke a live gate record, fifteen to twenty million. Already tickets sold. Oh, really? Maybe it's the product, bro. That's all I'm saying. Y'all, let me know what y'all think, man. Comment down below. Smash the like, sub to the channel, share the video, turn on your notifications, and go follow me on Twitter at KO Box and eighty six TV. Appreciate everybody watching. Enjoy the rest of y'all day. And with that, we out of here. Peace out. Y'all.